What you cooking tonight? You want to feel the feel? We love you, feel the feel. I'm cooking a cookie with granny. Cooking a cookie with granny. What's up, Philly Feel Gang? How y'all doing? Everybody, how are y'all doing? Eat with Philly Feel Gang. E-W-T-P-G. What's up, E-W-P-P-G? How are y'all doing? Okay, happy Sunday once again. I hope y'all enjoyed the workout this morning. Okay, today's menu is simple. I'm gonna make a meatloaf. I'm gonna have some fried cabbage. I already have everything chopped up. This is for the meatloaf. I'm gonna saute these uh, veggies, all of my colored bell peppers and everything, and an onion. This is everything chopped up for the cabbage. And I have the garlic over here for the cabbage as well as the um, meatloaf. Um, I already have my candy yams boiling. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to saute these veggies. Then we'll come back and put the meatloaf together. You guys have seen me do the cabbage. I'm gonna fry it a little bit on top of the stove, then I'm gonna put it in the oven, okay? I'm not gonna cook it in the um, presto skillet today. All right, so let me get this stuff started and I'll be back, cause I am hungry. I can show y'all, I already have the cabbage cut up as well, okay? So, and I'm gonna season it with my usual seasonings. Everything that I normally use, that's what I'll be using. I'll be putting two packages of Saison in the meatloaf when we get ready to put that together, okay? I'm gonna let the meatloaf bake in this pan right here. I'll, um, butter it down real good put meatloaf in there, okay? All right, I'll be there, guys. Let's put our meatloaf together. This is about a, almost two pounds of hamburg meat. I'm making a pretty large meatloaf. And you know, the meat will shrink, and yes, I like a lot of veggies in my meatloaf. I cut all of these up fresh and sauteed them, added the garlic last so it wouldn't burn, okay? All right, we got that in there. Just want to sort of mix it around up in there. Let your uh, veggies cool after you saute them, okay? Sort of working them around up in there. All right. So what are y'all cooking today? I'd like to know. Talking to someone earlier, they cooked the roast. I love a good pot roast. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, pork or beef, really don't matter. My grandfather used to stuff his roast. I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna do a roast, stuff it the way he taught me, with garlic and jalapenos. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I have a slice of bread chopped up here. Gonna add that to it. I'm gonna start seasoning it up. Some Italian seasoning. Just whatever you want to put in your meatloaf, okay? But I want a well-seasoned meatloaf. Parsley. Be generous with the parsley. About a tablespoon and a half. Some oregano. Everything that I normally use. Okay, it's a lot of meat, so you got to season it. Basil. Finish that off. Onion and garlic powder. Get it down in there. Gonna mix it up. Like I said, this is almost, this is two pounds of meat. So we wanna season it up good. Okay, black pepper. It won't be over seasoned, trust me. But you don't have to use all of this if you don't want to. Some people just might want salt and pepper some seasoning salt. My steak seasoning, takes joy. This has the salt in it, so I'm gonna be a little generous with it. Got to season up all this meat now. I take a good two tablespoons, okay? My Saison. Yes, you know we got to have some Saison. And we're gonna have two packages in there since we have two pounds of meat. Okay. Let's mix this up. And I don't want to overwork it too much. Okay, gotta put an egg in here. In fact, I'm putting two eggs because it's two pounds of meat. And 
And you know, if you cook your meatloaf another way, let me know. Meatloaf is one of those things that, hey, I don't want to lose any of this good seasoning. You know, your grandma's recipe, your mama's recipe, how they cook it. So now I just don't want to overwork it because I don't want my meatloaf to dry out or anything. I'm just trying to get all these seasonings spread out all over this meat, okay? Get everything mixed up, all those veggies. That's all I'm doing. You guys having a good weekend so far? Okay. I have had a good blessed weekend thus far. Yes, I have. I don't think I put my cayenne pepper in here. I want it to be a little spicy. Okay. A little bit more steak seasoning. I turned this meat over. There was a lot of it that didn't have seasoning on it. Okay. Uh, some more onion and garlic powder. You can never go wrong with onion and garlic powder. And a little bit more parsley. I want to see those colors coming through. All right. I think we are just about ready to form this up and get it in the pan. Now, oh, one more thing. Ketchup. I like to put about a tablespoon or so of ketchup in it. Just eyeball it, okay? All right. Let me know how you guys do your meatloaf. I would like to know. If nothing else, this meatloaf will be seasoned. Like I say, as long as the food is seasoned good, you stand a really good chance of having a winner. <laughs> okay, let me move all this out the way. Oops. I'm glad the top was on there. Big old piece of meat right here. Okay. I, I, had a, I have a meatloaf pan, but it's not big enough for this. So I'm trying to form this into a nice loaf. share it with my mom, my sister. Then I'll have meatloaf, leftover meatloaf one day. I may put some pinto beans and rice or something to go with it. A friend of mine that Beaumont had on his page, he had his pinto beans looking good. Made me want some. So I'll probably have some leftover meatloaf one day with some uh, either some white beans or some pinto beans and rice. I'm also going to make some uh, cornbread today, okay? All right, let's see here. I want to top it with a little pepper. Okay, and some parsley. All right guys, there it is. Gonna get this in the oven and then I'll make up my uh, cornbread and I, I forgot to buy a boiled corn. I wanted a, a piece of corn, but I forgot to get it. So if I don't have any canned corn, we just won't have any. All right, be back in a minute. Dinner is done. The meatloaf is done. I didn't show you guys me making the um, uh, sauce for it, but I'll put it in the description box, okay? I did have a can of corn. I just seasoned it up a little bit. Onion powder, garlic powder, a little butter, and let that simmer. 
some uh, candy yam. This is one that I cut in half. I cooked two because I'm going to take my mom the other one. I made a small thing of cornbread, homemade cornbread, and my cabbage. Okay, let's bless the food. Bless this, excuse me, bless this food that we're about to receive for the nourishment of our bodies. Amen. Okay. And I have the remainder of my jungle juice. I'm going to pour that up right here. I got to go to Kroger's and get me some more. The dollar store one. One of the two. Okay. Let's see what we're working with here. Give me a piece of this cornbread. Go with some of this cabbage. Mm, mm, mm. I love a good smothered cabbage. Yes, I do. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm-hmm. That's good. So how are y'all doing? Did y'all work out with me this morning? Who worked out with me? Let's taste the meatloaf. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. It's a big one, but it's done all the way through. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's seasoned really good. So, y'all see it? I'm dropping my food. I don't want to do that. The sauce is um a half a no a cup of ketchup. Um, Oh, eight, eight ounce jar of tomato sauce, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, and a tablespoon of brown sugar. And then I just seasoned it up a little bit, mixed it up, and poured it over the meatloaf. Nothing too fancy. Mmm, forgot I already cut a piece. This sure is good though. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I don't think I got a big enough piece of cornbread. I'm Regular canned corn. Mm. Mm. But we would definitely have some leftover meatloaf one day this week. I think I'm going to do it with some pinto beans. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. Nothing like a good meatloaf and cabbage to go with it. Mm. What did you all cook? Mm. I'm going to have to get up and work out in the morning and work this little meal off. <laughs> But we've been working hard this week. We'll be up to 20 minutes. That's good. A lot of y'all say y'all are working with me. Yeah, I'm glad I can motivate somebody. I'm gonna need y'all to help me stay motivated. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes, indeed. Mm, mm, mm. Cornbread came out real good. Mm. And I cut up all those different colored bell peppers and the cabbage, as well as our meatloaf. Mm, 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 mm. Hope you all have a good weekend. Winding it down, getting ready for the week. Hope we'll have us a good week. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This piece of meatloaf is too big. I know I'm not going to be able to eat it all. Mm. But it's good. 
all those bell peppers in there. See it? Mm-hmm. How do you all make your meatloaf? You put egg. I put a slice of bread in it. Some some of you might use bread crumbs. What do you do? Mm. What about your sauce? How do you make it? Some people make a brown sauce. I just picture a meatloaf having a tomato-based sauce. If I'm going to do that, I'll just make some hamburger steaks and gravy. Mm-hmm. Mm mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm hungry too. <laughs> mm -hmm. We really didn't eat anything too bad these last couple of days. I don't think we've had anything fried in a couple of days now. It's time for some fried chicken, guys. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Time for some wings. Mm -hmm. Time for some uptown wings. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, that's good. So when I was cooking, I noticed on my phone that the McKenzie moments had gone live. They were doing a seafood ball. I shared their video. They're a real nice family. They're in California. So if you guys haven't checked their channel, cha channel out, nice couple and they have two daughters but i heard them saying i was cooking but i heard them saying something about not having the kids on the channel because it messes up the all the all the rhythm or something so i'm wondering you know my granddaughter does my intro for the most part i'm wondering if that i mark my channel as not for children though so hopefully that's not messing up nothing keeping YouTube from putting my videos out there more. What do you guys think? <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. I think I'm gonna accent more about that. They'll know. Oh, this is good. Mm, mm, mm. But these lights are hot on me. Mm, mm. Well, I almost ate this whole piece of meatloaf. <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. It's definitely good. I've never made a uh, meatloaf sandwich. What do you put on a meatloaf sandwich? Just, I've never made one. Mm. Okay, no more cornbread, so I'm done. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's come back and see what you guys had to say about the last night's video, the salad and the workout, okay? Be back in a minute. All right, guys, let's see what you all had to say about the chef salad last night. <clears throat> Pumpkin pie. Hey, Philly Phil. Hey, Phil. Good looking salad. I had a salad as well today, only with fried chicken. Laugh out loud. Blessings to you. You too. Debbie Henderson. Yes, love a good salad. Sometimes it just, sometimes it just doesn't love me. When you get old like me, sometimes raw veggies don't agree with your stomach. Oh, sad too, because I love them. 
I can take beans and eat them on any occasion. Okay. Well, I sure hate you can't eat, eat salads like that. Rose for you, happily feel. <clears throat> I love a good chef salad occasionally. My ingredients are usually the same as yours, except I also add sliced dill pickles, olive oil, and red wine vinegar. I love the cheese off. I leave the cheese off because I am lactose intolerant. The Olive Garden dressing is delicious on salads as well. Enjoy your day. Uh, yeah, I love Olive Garden salad. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> Julia Martin, hey Julia, how are you? Hey, Philly Phil, I love me a good salad. I like my salad with, ev with everything on it, but the kitchen sink, lettuce, tomatoes, cucumber, eggs, red onions, bell peppers, banana peppers, uh, looks like raisins and croutons, yummy. Thanks for taking us shopping and keep cooking in the kitchen. SMB 770, hey, my favorite Southern cooking lady. There's nothing like a real good salad. My favorite is a cob salad. I think that's what I'll have. Keep on cooking in the kitchen, Philly Phil. EWPPG. Lady 69J, Salmon Magic, one of Chef Paul's most popular creations, is a unique blend of carefully selected herbs and spices with subtle accents of dry mustard seeds. These distinct flavors enhance the natural goodness of salmon on, or any other type of fish, Sell, shellfish or seafood. Uh, whether you are grilling, sauteing, baking, broiling, or poaching, Chef Paul's magic, Chef Paul's salmon magic adds just the right flavor to any recipe. Contains no MSG or preservatives, preservatives, and is a kosher, and and is kosher and halal approved. Three dollars. Well, I gotta look that up. Chef Paul's. Okay, I gotta check that out. <clears throat> Marty B. Hey, Philly Phil. Like the intro. Salad looks delicious. Okay, Tanya Mator. Hi, Miss Phyllis. The other lettuce contains vitamins, nutrients, and zero calories in them. I only use iceberg lettuce on tacos. Well, does iceberg have uh, calories in them? That lady at work swear they don't. She says just water. I just don't like those other um, blends. She Radiance, hey Phil, I love a good salad. Keep cooking and sipping in the kitchen. Happy fun day Sunday. <laughs> My jungle juice today. Extina Groves, girl, you know I love me some salad. <laughs> Deborah Tumor, hey EWPPG, your salad looks real yummy. You have the works on it. I just love me a good old salad like jalapenos on I like jalapenos on mine with club crackers, yes, and avocado. Have a great day. That's what I need. I have some club crackers. Vicky Hughes, hey EWPPG Chef Salad. Nice light meal. Looks delicious. Thank you. Cynthia, the salad looks great. I'm eating a spinach salad for dinner with the same toppings. I always have to have me a hidden valley ranch dressing. Okay. Tiana Pointer, happy blessed Sunday. God bless you. Great video. Nice and healthy salad. Be safe. Penny, good morning, Philly Phil. I love a good chef salad. I love cucumbers, onions, cheese, eggs, ham, and both ranch and French dressing. I'm going to start using red onion instead of the regular onion. Keep cooking and sipping in the kitchen. Peace and blessings. Mmm, that salad sounds good. Anita Carter, salad looks refreshing. Love salads with fruits as well. Lovely K. Trice, salad, look, salad looks delicious. I use romaine lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, eggs, green olives, sometimes cucumber, red wine vinegar, Italian dressing, and salad toppings for crunch. You know what, I normally put bacon bits, I didn't have any. I don't have the salad toppings uh, I use, if I don't have the salad toppings, I use whole wheat saltines. I'm going to try the carbon board turkey. I usually get sliced. And yes, I don't say diet, it's a lifestyle change. See you later, later, Philly Phil, you're right. Just changing your life up a little bit. Can't do no diets. Smitty Smith for Hey EWPPG. <clears throat> Jeanette, Pierre, got my wine glass in perfect condition. Thank you, Philly Phil, EWPPG. All right, I hope you enjoy sipping out of it. Send Mo, she said, yeah, baby, I'm here for it. Vera Donald, Hey Philly Phil. Happy Sunday, the salad looks delicious, ma'am. I have to add jalapenos and mushrooms to my salad to give it a little extra kick. Yeah, I do love mushrooms. I like the mushrooms that um, US Pizza have. Tasha Hawkins, good morning, Philly Phil. That salad looks delicious. I put everything you have on it 
but I add bacon, croutons, cottage cheese, pineapple, spinach, peppers, spinach, peppers, ranch, and Italian dressing. Enjoy your Sunday. Boy, you have a good old stuffed salad. I have to try some of that. Be Sugar 100. Hey, Philippia, how you doing? You made that salad. I put Texas toast croutons in my salad. See, I don't like croutons. Uh, in her salad, cheese, cucumbers, onions, shrimp, or chicken. Let's get this healthy on together. We're your workout partners. Thank you for shouting out my daughter. You are the bomb.com. Have a blessed one, sis. You're welcome. Caprice Perry, iceberg lettuce has no nutritional value. Well, I'm just gonna have to work extra hard because that's the one I like. <laughs> Jewel Nelson, salad looks good. I like all kinds, mostly kale, spinach, onions, tomatoes, cucumbers, garbanzo beans, sunflower kernels, and dried cranberries with balsamic vinaigrette. Enjoy your salad. Now I like balsamic vinaigrette, but I don't like any type of fruit in my salad. Okay, y'all y'all have some nice salad ideas there. <clears throat> Okay, what y'all say about the journey number three workout? Let's see here. OB said, love this, you even have the music. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm getting my, um, uh, on Instagram, Why Austin, he is creating me a new, a beat for my workout videos. Yes, he is, so it's coming, guys. He's working on it. Deborah Tumor, hey, EWPPG, I got up at 8 a.m. this morning and did my exercise. I am on it. Thank you for asking me to join you. I appreciate it. Keep doing your thing. You got this. All right. Celestine Moore, you are doing good. I stroll every morning around 6 a.m. This is my second month. I am not going back into that gym. Watching you, I I might, watching you, I might put, watching you might put some pep in my step. You go, girl. I can't read. <laughs> Lovely Kate Trice. Yes, looking good. Cute workout outfit. I love cute workout clothes. Have a great day. I've got to go buy me some more, y'all. She Radiance. Good morning, Philly Phil. Keep up the good work. Happy Sunday. Angel Gemini. Okay, Philly Phil, you keep up the good workout. Get it, girl. Pumpkin Pie, you're, you're doing amazing. Have a great day. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. B Sugar 100. Hey, sis. I just got done with my bike. Um, I'm poop the boop, poop poop the doop. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Have a blessed one. Since you have me back on my journey, I'm going to go back to my old schedule, Monday through Friday, weekends off. Thanks for the motivation, sis. Okay, have a blessed one. Debbie Henderson, what Debbie say, I'm fluffy. My niece doing that thing, yo, yay, go girl. My niece, wait a minute, my niece doing that thing, y'all. Go girl, okay. Thank you. Cynthia Duncan, hello, Philippine. Keep up the good work. I see each day is getting better and better for you. Happy Sunday. I'm trying. <clears throat> Rose for you. Hey, Philippine. Keep up the good work. I certainly do need to add exercise back to my daily routine as well. I have been spending my summer reading black history books. I love the beautiful beach scenery behind you. Dinner today will be barbecue ribs, macaroni, seasoned rice, and lima beans. Oh, that sounds good. Have a great day. I hope you had a good day. Cynthia, work it out, work it out. Now I need to go work it out. <laughs> Come on, let's do it. Julia Martin, hey, Philippe, I'm, I'm so enjoying this. You make me want to go out and get me a workout machine. Go get it so we can be up and one and two and one and two every morning. <laughs> you are so motivating. I love it. Work out, Philippe. Keep on working out and cooking in the kitchen. That's right. Nicole Borner, hello EWPPG. Keep up the good workout. Thank you. Marty B, get it, Philly Phil. Michael Bryant, get it, sis, get it. That's Big Mike, my brother out of Chicago. What's up, Big Mike? Maxine Rose, hey, Philly, nice workout. Actually, my niece's daughter, C Fitness, is what she's under, under, I think, on Instagram and Facebook. Now, she is a trainer. Check her out. Uh, Maxine Rose said, hey, Philly, nice workout. Thank you. Uh, oh, that's the uh, lady that bakes y'all her cakes on Instagram. Yes, they're the bomb. Maxine Sweet Treats, I think is what it's called. Smitty Smith for hello, EWPPG. Anita Carter just gave us some heart signs. All right, guys. Thank you guys for leaving the comments. Thank you all for working out with me and just watching the workout video. I appreciate it. Now, 
If this is your first time stopping by the channel, make sure that you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Now drop a comment so I can read it on the next show. Now, press that red subscribe button, press it again, ring that bell, share the video if you feel like it. Put it out there. Thank you guys so much. All right. You never know where your girl's gonna be, what I'll be cooking, what I'll be, who I'll be visiting. You never know, you never know. This quarantine stuff is gonna be over one day. Soon, we hope. We. Ugh. I'd be so glad when I can have some people on the show. But anyway, you just never know what I'll be doing. You just never know what I'll be cooking. How, how many miles I'll be doing? How long I'll ride the elliptical? But you guys gotta keep coming back and checking me out, okay? And remember, you can tell everybody, say, you know what? We always welcome in Philly Fields Kitchen, where we eat good, we play good, and we work even harder. Now, keep cooking in the kitchen. See y'all next time. Oh, <laughs>